Hello YouTube, cheers, yeah, and welcome to The Basement, my name is Bruce Lively, and I'm D-Boy Slim, and The Basement Debates is the first exclusive hip-hop debate format, usually we tackle the most intriguing topics in hip-hop culture and the world around it, sorry we've been gone for a couple weeks, but we're back again, welcome back Basement family, welcome back to you too brother, oh boy we back, and we got some fire today. We gotta give credit where credit is due. We know now, what y'all been talking about. Mm, now that Jay Z is the youngest black billionaire in hip hop history, in history period, the youngest black billionaire out right now. I told my, I told, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all. I told my man Bruce, that's important, man. We got to do that. We got to jump on that right now, immediately. Like that's important. Like that means a lot. No argument for me. Uh, what? We'll get into it's it. It's the only thing we yeah. have to beat about. Yeah. So, we got a few coming out for you today. It's this. Now that Jay-Z is the youngest black billionaire in history, the question is, is Jay-Z the most iconic figure in hip-hop of ever. all time? Does that make him the most iconic figure ever? Mm. Check in. We'll let you know in one minute. With that being said, let go. Listen, 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 listen. Hell yeah, it makes him the most iconic uh, figure in hip hop ever. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Eh, what, the money, the Are billionaire? You me? What's an icon? Can you define it? I don't. What Got mean? you. You're hard pressed saying he wasn't the best rapper of all time. So, right? That's like Michael Jordan to basketball. Like, he was the best player of all time, first of all, before he was the Wizards owner. Or excuse me, Charlotte Bobcats, Charlotte Hornets owner. He was the best player for the Chicago Bulls of all time, right? That's, I mean, by the numbers, we could debate. Uh, I know a lot of y'all like to debate, you know, lyrics and this and that and whatever, whatever you like to debate. But if you do by the numbers, and when I say numbers, meaning number one platinum albums, number one uh, hit hit songs or whatever, Jay Z owns the stats. That's a fact. So by the numbers. He is the best rapper of all time. Um, yeah. Also, what he transitioned to, which he still has a rap career when he wants to, but when he's not making those business mogul uh, investments, but what he transitioned to, what we what we seen him transition to, as we seen Russell Simmons in the early 90s and late 80s, you know, lay down the blueprint as far as having fashion tied into hip hop. He went into that, and he was the best at one time. Rock aware, you can't forget about it. I, I can't remember the numbers uh, right off the top of my head. I, I, I apologize, but I remember there was years they bought in 150 million to 200 million. Dame Dash owned rights to it. He bought it from Dame Dash for a steal. He, I mean, I'm not gonna say he hustled his own partner, but. This guy's the best, man. <laughs> he, he he bought the rights, the, the soul rights from Dane Dash for the Rockerwear and sold it back to, I believe, who was it? Gap or, or, or whomever for another 250 million. Like, which brings me to part of the reason we talking about Jay-Z right now today is because it, it, it all transitioned, it all translated into a billion dollars. He's the first to do that in hip hop history. I can't see it getting much more iconic than that. Like I just explained to you why, um, because of the him being the best rapper, and now he obviously is looking like he's the best mogul. That the combination of the two, I think, is undeniable. He's still a popular figure, and when I say popular, meaning like pop culture, he has the wife, the best, the best looking, but <laughs> she might be the top earning female uh, um, R and B artist or pop. Pop What's artist. funny is I'm not even going to debate, go back and forth with you on that because this does have to do with iconic status. Icon meaning something that you look at and want to right. be like. Right, and, and that's just so that that even is. does that even does and matter. It ties sure, in, sure. and it's part of the, the the total package. Which, like I said, it just to me, 
and to obviously with the numbers reflect it, 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 it makes him the best the uh <laughs> the best uh i wore the top the, the most iconic hip-hop figure ever okay so yeah we gotta make sure we don't mince words here best and I'm sorry, I meant to say right. most, uh, most so iconic. Iconic. We are going to say the definition is something that you look up to and want to be like and almost a Christ-like figure. The other the side of that is something that you can aspire to and the most important thing in that position to aspire to. I would say that I would be an idiot to sit here and tell you that it's not an argument that Jay-Z is not iconic, but I will also say that making a billion dollars doesn't make you the icon. Not necessarily. Being the best, having the most accolades in your position, all of these things also ascribe to somebody named Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre mm. has not only been in the career of the rap industry longer, a longer career than Jay-Z, also has been behind more chart-topping hits. Believe it or not, although Jay-Z has a lot of them, Dre has been behind more chart-topping hits. All the way back from N.W.A. to Snoop Dogg to Tupac to Eminem to 50 Cent to to Game. Take his names. The most iconic, you could argue, one would argue, has the most iconic artist to come out under him. Has made money from the most iconic albums ever to be made. Dr. Dre, 2001. The Chronic, 2001. The first Chronic. When we're talking about all of these other accolades that matter in hip hop, Dr. Dre actually has more over a longer period of time than Jay-Z. That's not to say Jay-Z can't do that. He has more time left. But as it stands right now, as long as Dre is in there and continuing to make art, he's more iconic on that level. Then there's the other side. The first person to make a billion dollar deal as a hip hop artist or mogul mm. is Dr. Dre. So when you say that these, this guy now is the first black, I mean the first billionaire in hip hop or the youngest billionaire period, black billionaire, I say to you, the person who paved the way for that more than five years ago was Dr. Dre. He had a video where he came out, he called himself the first billionaire of hip hop. Now we go back and we can say it was divided and shared up. I feel you, but I want you just to think about this and I'm done with this. We can actually, we can have a little debate about this. But my main point right now is to tell you that for someone who's had more hits, more number ones, and more iconic artists under them have made money on the more iconic um, more iconic and historical albums with his name on it and still getting residual income from those right now and was the first to make a billion dollar deal set the template for the man that we look up to now as Jay-Z he has to be the most iconic person the most iconic figure in hip hop right now you want me to tell you what I never seen? I never seen a guy that's the best rapper in hip hop and he owns the label. I never that, seen a guy who's the best producer in hip hop of all time that I've and ne- he owns the label. That I've never seen. Now, you know. That's you know This, <laughs> this is that's this. that's fine, but you do your you do your homework. Dre's produced a lot of albums. He's got an executive producer rights to a lot of albums. But again, platinum albums that Jay Z, like he was the soloist. He was he was the guy on the album. Mm-hmm. Nobody has more. Period. Fashion, liquor, style. I mean, who has done it 
better. But time we could, and time again. We could say when it comes to style and liquor, we could say Puffy, right? Puffy has had more oh, yeah. money in style and making style. The argument. Then. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm. What I'm saying is, you said you never seen this this thing, or uh, this there, amalgamation of points. There are others you can debate that has come to it, but they too have not translated into being the first black billionaire. Puffy's at 850 million and so is Dr. Dre. And I will say this, listen to me now people and listen to this argument. When it comes to reach your tentacles in hip hop, we're talking about iconic hip hop figures. No one has put out more iconic artists and reached more people than Dr. Dre. From the Tupacs, who still get movies made about them last year, to the N.W.A.s, who still get movies made about them last year, to the M.N.M.s, who was the first white boy in hip hop to ever reach the status that he has, the the reach and the tentacles that he's had in hip hop because of his position as a producer and not just a rapper, already puts him with your Russell Simmons already puts him with your puffies and then doing it better than them plus being the best producer of all time and then you go into beats the first that person he stands the, for influence that's that's a that's heavy influence it's, it's start, what you're speaking about that's a lot if but we can talk about wives being iconic, influence has a lot to do with being iconic your uh, influence as as being, turns you to be what type of icon people I, see iconic when you speak about Jay-Z, he's a one-man machine, people. He's a one-man machine. Again, like I said, he was the best rapper on the best label, and he owned the label. It's unheard of. He's a one-man machine. He left Dame Dash. Dame Dash felt like he had built what, what Jay-Z was, and Jay-Z proved I built who I was. He probably doubled and tripled the money that he ever made with Dame Dash at Rockefeller, and Dame Dash simply is at where he's at. Like, you know, there's no need to to uh, elaborate on that, but. So then it comes down to this. This would be the wrap up. So my point in all that is just saying the guy is a one man guy. Now you can say, you can speak on influence, but as far as being iconic and, and, and the, you know, you're talking about status and, and, and like you said, being seen more or less as the, 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 the most or the best in hip hop, if you will, that has to be Jay. And it, it, it simply because he does it the most and the best on all levels, as I just explained to you. Like, he does it the best and the most and the longest on all levels. On so, all levels. that's good. I would say in my wrap up, Apple Music bought beats for three billion dollars and he first, had to split it with you. We, well, that's the thing is, he's the first to have done it that way. And in hip hop, if you've had the most number one hits, if you've had the most number one albums, and you've been in it longer, that to me, besides the fact that you're at 850 million this far away from a billion, and you made the first billion dollar deal, you still get that. Well, Jay Z alone has the most number one songs. Now, I don't know if you're talking about producing. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh yeah. You're talking about credits you know, on the album that go to you for that number one. When the Grammy for gets producers in hip hop, right. that may be accurate. He has the most number one but hits. But again, the one man machine, Jay Z, you look that up. Like, he's billboarded. Like, he has the most number one hits. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Tell us. Tell us which one is it weighs more in the icon status. Doing it yourself, like like, and that does not mean there's not that does mean something. Doing it yourself or your influence on, on or your others. influence overall over time. Let us know. Give Let us feedback. know. Uh, so we're just gonna name everybody who's who we're gonna be shouting out. We're gonna do another show. We're gonna do another show because again, we had so many shout outs that all we can do is a name right now. Don't don't. Slide me on this one. Don't start reading that stuff because I know y'all had some cool stuff to say, but we just got to say the names right now. We're going to do another show where we actually <laughs> debate everybody. I think he knows me. Yeah. Battle Right. Thank you so much. Salute to you. Viral Vision. Salute to you. Nico Black the Don. So, salute to you. Uh, 
Arisha Harris, Arisha Harris, salute to you. Victoria Pige, you always know. Shout out Mob Mafia Entertainment. Shout out Mob Mafia Entertainment, 100 to you. It's your boy, uh, that's it. It's your boy, uh, salute to you. Aztec King, salute to you. Listen, everybody who we're shouting out, watch again. We're gonna put out another one where we actually talk about what you said. Philly, uh, number 215 Philly, shout out to you. Uh, Tavares Jermaine Hobbs, shout out to you. Kissed by Fire, official. Holla back, salute to you. Sway Tay, Sway Tay, salute to you. Uh, Paranoid29906. Paranoid29906, we got you coming. Street Fighter player, we got you coming. We're gonna talk about everything that you said. You just left 25,000 characters we can't say right now. Um, Aztec King again, My Tribe TV All Out Attack, definite. Man, salute to you, we've seen you. Uh, Tamal Garnier, salute to you, and Kiss by Fire official again. Listen, everybody, enjoy the next few weeks. We got these shows coming, and we're gonna be doing our last one on everybody who's commented that we just said. So if you heard your name, tune back in. We're getting back to you. That's the basement, what you got? All love, we got dope shows. Keep checking for Bruce for the beats. We out of here. Peace.